on a cool October afternoon in Doswell. Sundays I come to my dad's and we work out here on the pasture and a day of rest. These metal parts here are more of an anchor. Becomes a day of work. The wood here is just kind of to keep everything in line and balanced. Likely many days. But Drew, who doesn't want to be identified, says repairing this fence on his father's horse farm. It is no, nothing in comparison to what families are feeling right now and wondering if everybody's going to be okay. Hours earlier, this mangled car. I have never seen any, any uh, type of accident like this. Is the last thing Drew and his father expected to see resting in their field. I arrived to see maybe four cruisers blocking off the uh, side of the road. The police were letting us know that uh, a few teens were involved in a, in a car accident. According to the Hanover Sheriff's Office, deputies were called to a crash in the 12100 block of Old Ridge Road just before 4 a.m where they say a car with three teens inside crashed through a fence, then rolled over. It seems that one of the kids took the car from a, a relative, their grandmother, and went off for a joyride. A joyride that sent all three to the hospital, two with minor injuries, a third with critical. It was impacting the front and the back. The impact so great it split this stop sign in two, took out a root marker, and snapped these solid wood fence posts like twigs. The speed limit on this stretch is 45. And judging by these dark skid marks, Drew believes the teens were going much faster. One of the juveniles was thrown from the car and was found away from the, the car itself. That's only briefly what the, the deputy had said when I was helping clean up. Drew says he spent hours. You're still finding these little chunks everywhere. Collecting debris from the wreckage. A lot of glass, really. Part of a heel for a slip on a female slip on shoe. Getting the fields prepped for the horses to return to grazing. We don't want the horses getting in this and, and possibly eating uh, whatever, like antifreeze or uh, oil, anything that might have leaked out of the car. But as the fences are fixed. Yeah, we'll still have scars on the ground and everything, and which is just a reminder of, you know, the how short and fragile our lives are. Drew only hopes that lessons are learned. Unfortunately, the the decisions of others have impacts on the community and it's tragic to see children uh, injured in such a horrific way. Reporting in Doswell, AJ Nwoko, CBS 6 News.